Costa, what's on your mind, bro? Oh, I just wanted to come in and have a chat and see how everything was, how you guys were feeling about everything. I've obviously heard that for the last hour and a half. You asked for a question um, that maybe people haven't asked before. Um, with all the change that's gone on, what, what are some of the, the metrics you're looking for next year, let's say within the first six months before the buy to see whether the changes have worked or not? Let's say not more so wins, but what are you looking for during games uh, from players? What, what are you see, looking to see that are going to indicate that we've actually made a good change over the, over the offseason? No more one-handed tackles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can agree. That's, what I'll, that's how, honestly, that's how I'll know. Like, I mean, I want to know how we are going to attack the contest and attack the ball and attack the man. And, I mean, there's a difference between tackling and, you know, really hunting. And I'm going to be looking – that's the first thing I'm looking for. How, how are we attacking each contest? It's, it's, a, it's a good question. There's a few things. I mean, the, the two biggest ones for me, I don't want to say – any more hundred point scores conceded? That's first first thing you got to fix. If you can fix that, we know we know that our defensive structures are in a much better spot than what they were this year. Um, but, you know, secondly, it's those lapses. You know, you, you're going to know whether or not it was Teague and whether it was the coaching staff or whether it's his playing group and their mentality very very quickly. Because if we see it in round one and then we see it in round two. And then we see it in round three, you start going, boys, you know, the, this is what I was saying earlier in the show, the pieces have changed around you, but we're still seeing the same shit. So, you know, for me, that's that's the biggest one. I can't, I can't have these lapses. It's fine to cop a couple of goals here and there, but if it's every week and it's the same thing that we've seen for the last two, three, four years, there's going to be some questions asked very quickly of this playing group, I think. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. I think it's definitely that. We shouldn't be copping six, seven goals uh, in, a, in a quarter again. I just I hope we don't have the inconsistency without get throughout games even compared to the season. Like I don't want to see us come out looking like premiership contenders in the first quarter and then dropping off in the second quarter looking like a bottom two side. Like that Western Bulldogs game last year was the big indication for me. Like, you know, we we stuck it up to them for three quarters and then we looked like absolute dog shit in the fourth quarter. So if we can stick to playing that consistent footy for a long period of time, which is something the boss has spoken about, which was really impressive to me. It was just saying like we want a sustained high performance uh, season. We don't want just something a pinch hit playing really well, really good footy in the first couple of rounds and then dropping off, which was I never heard anything like that from T, if I'm being honest. Like <laughs> I never heard uh, like words like accountability and connection with the fans and things like that. So you got boys have said it, other people have said it. It doesn't feel like a papering over the cracks this time. It feels like genuine change from the ground up, which is all that we asked for last year at the end of the season. So I'm really excited about the next season. And like you said, this is the Carlton period. This is where we don't have games on the weekend to, to bring us down. We can have all this hope and hopefully next year that they uh, they bring it to us and, and we, we can play well. Spot on, mate. Yeah. yeah, this is where we convince ourselves that we're going to win the flag. It, it yeah. starts from now. So yeah. even you last week, I was watching the Brownlow stream, and while she gets three votes after the Lions match, you're like, "It's happening. That's it. He's yeah. on the Brownlow." <laughs> <laughs> Just epitomised the Carlton experience to the highest point. I loved it. Uh, oh, it cracked me up. I'm, I'm pathetic. I really never change. Never change, Tess. Never change. No, no, no. I never will. Because one day it'll pay off. You call. You call a granny after the round one, and it will happen, mate. Trust me. I'll never be wrong. I'll always be ready for the granny. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, love it. Thanks so much, Costa. No, Cheers, my pleasure, boys. Thanks for having me.